Hello and welcome back. We are still playing this. We're going to be talking to everyone and then giving food to whoever we choose. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I cut off his leg, but he'll be fine. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Oh. Stop guilting me! I know I'm gonna give you one anyway! Here, Here Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, apple. I love apples! Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Yeah. Right. There are two pieces of food left. I still want to talk to you, though. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. I understand. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it okay. makes me feel better. Yes. Okay. You take good care of it then. I will. <laughs> You'll Just be don't okay go believing in it. Uh huh. I'll be okay. Hey, Duck. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. With a you? Guess what it is? A tiger. I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Yeah. Crackers Here. and cheese. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! I only have another... Save the last piece for someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, golly. Sup! Where'd you get that coat? Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Yeah. Sleeping any better? No. Wait, I what? know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. God, it's been three months. Get Back over it. Get. He's dead. God. If you're going to keep moping about everyone that dies, you're going to die. I should have said that differently. If you keep moaning about how someone dies, you're the one that's going to die next. There we go. I think that's better. Hey, Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I agree. Staying Look, in one place isn't a good you've idea. you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Because the thing is, if you stay in one place, then there's a chance that you'll get boxed in by all the other zombies that are coming everywhere. So, you know, it's better to keep the move on, because they're not like normal enemies. You can't just stay hunkered down and take them off at a distance. There are like millions of them. Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food, there just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. Uh. I didn't have a choice. It was that or the walkers. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. No one else seems to be complaining that they're hungry, apart from Clementine, 
and that new guy. Everything else, everyone else seems to be okay. How you doing? We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's the getting sexual pretty tension. You know people notice that. God, just get a room. I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, when you keep going to the same places, they're gonna run out. What Maybe are you gonna do you then? Think about leaving Grow the it out of concrete? God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, Which we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Yeah. Keep an eye out. Fine. Right, you're not hungry. Clementine's been fed. Larry's been fed. Who else did I feed? Duck. Yeah. We'll give it to the guy who's like, Oh, I'm so hungry. Blah, 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 blah. Here, eat something. Yeah. Shut up. Thanks, Lee. No problem. Not such an easy job, is it? Nope. Well, yes. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Huh. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, yeah. I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Like who? Wait, why'd you just suddenly turn away angry? Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, shit. You got a thing on you. Get there! Hey! Instead of Q! So much easier! The axe! Yeah, give me the axe. Or, you know, just stand there. Fuck it. Get. Get off. Knocky, knocky, knock. Get off of the damn way! I am. I had it. Get off. Get off. God damn it. Just get the fuck off. Uh, go, go, go. Fall out. Ow. God, you fall over even when we just started. In the eyes! In the eyes! Shoot it! Thank you. You okay? I'm fine. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Ow. Oh. Thank you. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't what take name it. Is that? She took some pills. A lot of them. She pitched Someone them, went in she? the girls' room the next morning and... God. What? She was a god? 
Back off! 